Hello Leute, so this is Gerard again. I'm sorry, but uh, I was out of memory and for that reason, uh, so the recording was stopped. So I have to apologize for that, Entschuldigung. And uh, so let's carry on with what we were doing. We were looking at uh, Unit 4 guidebook and we, we saw how to ask uh, someone where he's from. So, woher kommst du? Uh, ich komme aus Berlin. Hallo, woher kommst du? Ich komme aus Amerika. Uh, kommst du aus Frankreich? Nein, ich komme aus Österreich. So we saw all these, and we were looking about. We we were looking at uh, how to make questions, how to make uh, interrogations in. Um, not inter interrogation, sorry, but interrogative sentences. Well, to ask yes or no questions in German, just switch the position of the subject and the verb. And we have an example given here. So, Canada is gross. Canada is gross. This is a statement. And... Is Canada gross? Is Canada gross? So, now the verb comes before the noun. And this is the question. Um, is Canada big? So, is Canada gross? Uh, we know how to say gross, which is big, yeah, we, we know how to say that. We also know how to, how to um, say small, which is klein. So klein means small and, and gross means tall or big. It can be both, yeah. Oh, uh, it, it's not both at the same time. It can be either that one or that, but it means both. Talk about work. So, Karl, was ist dein Beruf? So, we're talking about the uh, Beruf, the profession. Notice that profession is masculine because we say dein, which is your. It's not diner. And, yeah. Karl, was ist dein Beruf? Right. And uh, furthermore, we have Ich bin Arzt. Ich bin Arzt, Doctor. Ich bin Arzt. Arzt. Arzt, yeah. Ich bin Studentin. Ich bin Studentin. And bist du Lehrer? Bist du Lehrer? It's a question. Bist du Lehrer? The, the, the verb comes before the, the pronoun du. Great, so... I don't think uh, there's much to, to say about this because it's something we saw uh, before. However, now we're going to look at unit 5. That was the last unit we, we worked with. So, which means that we're almost coming to something new. We're going to, to learn new things in German. And I think this is uh, Aufregen. Aufregen, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if my memory serves me well, it means that uh, it's exciting. Uh, kochst du? Kochst du? Kochst du? Kochst du? It means do you cook? Now we're working with another verb, and that verb, as you may have already guessed, is the verb to cook. To cook. And to say the infinitive uh, verb in German, to cook, it is. Uh, Koch, kochen, yeah, kochen. Kochst du? Do you cook? Ja, ich, uh, ich koche manchmal und du? Ja, ich koche manchmal und du? Yes, yes, I sometimes uh, cook and you? Ich koche nie. I never cook. So I never cook. Ich koche nie. Ich koche nie. Ich koche nie. Schwimmst du? Schwimmst du? Well, now we are looking at a different verb. And you can see this. It's the verb to swim. Yeah? The verb to swim. And the infinitive in German, it's... A sch schwi. I will put the dash here. Schwimmen. Yeah? Schwimmen. So we have uh, schwimmst du? Schwimmst du? Ja, ich schwimme oft. Ja, ich schwimme oft. 
Okay, so I swim often, or I often swim. Normally we say, I sometimes cook, I often swim. Depends. I, the adverb comes, uh, I'm quickly doing this. I, I quickly, not quickly, let's say something else, another adverb. So I uh, carefully put uh, my books in my in my school bag, for example. So normally we put uh, the adverb uh, before the the verb, and also we have seen here two uh, adverb of frequency, such as uh, manchmal, sometimes, and oft. Of course, we're working with the present tense. <coughs> so these these adverbs of uh, of frequency they are link to the present tense so sometimes it's uh, for present tense and also oft another uh, adverb of frequency it's a ni which means never and it also uses the present tense so everything is clear if you make the parallel with the english language you know what i'm speaking of so great so we know how to say i cook Ich koche. I know I, how to say I uh, I swim, so ich schwimme. And I can say you swim also. Uh, du schwimmst. And I can also say you cook, so du uh, kochst. Different strokes uh, for different folks. Verbs have different endings depending on the subject of uh, the sentence. Lucky for us, er and sie. So er, it's uh, he, and z is uh, she uh, in English. Use the same ending. It's the same. Uh, if you know how to conjugate in English language, you know that um, uh, if you take the the same verb, uh, schwimmen in English, which is to swim, you would say uh, he swims and she swims. Both will take an S. So this is exactly the same here. So the third uh, singular person is conjugated the same way. So ich schwimme, du schwimmst, and er schwimmt, sie schwimmt. Okay, guys, so now you can take a pause if you want also, because we are done with all the units. We have reviewed the, the guidebooks, the grammar points, the vocabulary, and so on and so on. So we are ready to start uh, something completely new, and that's how exciting it is. Let's start with Unit 6 without further ado. How to ask for directions. Okay. All right, so here we have uh, asking for direction, Entschuldigung. So we want to to say, like, excuse me, uh, actually, I said Entschuldigung when I say, I, you know, I didn't have enough memory, and for that reason, the recording stopped, yeah? But there's a difference between I'm sorry and excuse me. Excuse me is Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung in German, but to say that you're sorry, it's uh, more like, uh, es tut mir leid, es tut mir light so we will see that maybe at a later point but that's how you say i'm sorry it's not anschuldigung it's es tut mir light okay anschuldigung is excuse me if you want an, uh, to have the attention of someone for example so anschuldigung wo ist der markt markt anschuldigung wo ist der markt markt means uh, market visibly uh, der Macht ist da drüben. Der Markt ist da drüben. Da drüben. So we see Macht, it's like a market. So der Markt or a mart, you know. We also have this word in English, mart, which is a shop. Der Macht uh, ist da drüben. Da drüben, over there. Da drüben. 
Entschuldigung, wo ist das Hotel? Entschuldigung, wo ist das Hotel? So, where is the hotel? Das Hotel ist in der äh, Nähe. Oh, Nähe. Nähe. Das Hotel ist in der Nähe. Nähe. So, the hotel is nearby. In der Nähe. It's uh, in the neighborhood or the vicinity, I guess. That's what is meant uh, by der Nähe. Nähe. Das uh, Kino. The movie theater. So, Kino is uh, also used in other languages. Like in... Uh, uh, well, for instance, uh, Latvian language. They use the same. They say Kino. Kino Teatris. So, that's the movie theater. And das Kino is the Rex. 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 Das Kino is rechts. Yes. The movie theater is on the right, east rechts. So we know this word without knowing it. Well, if you say something is right or correct, you say rechtig, rechtig. So das, das ist rechtig. This is right. So the movie theater is on the, the right, you say simply rechts. Rechts. Das Kino ist rechts. Excellent. And uh, the next sentence is Der Park is the links. So the park is on the left. So Der Park is links. Der Park ist links. So Der Park is on the left links. So this is completely new, however. Left links. So links. Wow. That's a strange way to say left. But that's how Germans uh, or German speakers say links. And notice is like, uh, you know, it's not, it's not like on, there is no preposition here. They just say east rechts, east uh, links, so is right, is left, you know. So it's, just, it's a new way of, uh, I mean, they have their own way of uh, telling or giving directions and uh, now let's look at uh, the how to call it the article the defined article the and remember that all nouns have a gender and that there and ein change form depending on that gender we have the genders uh, on the left in the on the left hand side so the left column uh, masculine feminine neuter and the nouns and you see how der and the and das are used. So, for example, der Bahnhof. Bahnhof, I think, is the highway. Der Bahnhof. No, Bahnhof is not the highway. Um, how do you say? Uh, how do you say highway in German? Is it the Autobahn? Autobahn. Autobahn, I think. Okay, Bahnhof means train station. So, ban off. Where is the ban off? Wo? Wo ist der de ban off? So, ban off. Bahnhof. 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 Wo ist der de ban off? Bitte. So, Entschuldigung. Wo ist der Bahnhof? Bitte. Ein Bahnhof. Bahnhof. A train station. So, it is masculine. And the feminine now here we have. Uh, Die Bäcker, Bäckerei? Die Bäckerei. 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 Yeah, it's Bäckerei. Bakery. So bakery, what do you have at the bakery? You have cakes. You have sometimes uh, bread. Well, you have bread. You have um, um, pastries, yeah. You can have like uh, different kind of uh, of bread, like uh, brioche. Uh, you can have, yeah, different things. You can have also like a croissant, croissant. And so this is at the bakery. And 
We say die Bäckerei. Die Bäckerei. So eine Ein Bäckerei. Eine, eine Bäckerei. Mm -hmm. Now for the new to now we have Kino. Notice that Kino ends with an O. It also tells you that maybe it's not it's neither masculine nor feminine. Whereas masculine normally they end with a, well it's not a a firm rule but it's just a, an observation. One of ends with F, which is a consonant, whereas feminine noun uh, Bäckerei it ends with a vowel, so it's feminine. So maybe that can help. So yes, so we're done. Uh, we have now uh, looked at uh, the the basic, uh, how to say, the basic uh, grammar for this unit. So let's try to practice what we've just learned and see how much of it we can already use. Uh, they're asking me if I want to have a heart right now. I, I will pass because I'm good. I have four hearts. Yeah, Deutschland is the schön. Schön. Do you remember what's schön? Schön is beautiful. And Deutschland, Deutschland is German. Yes, German is beautiful. Yeah, Deutschland is the schön. I can say, what can I say about this? I can say that das ist richtig. It's correct. It's true. Uh, I don't know how to say true uh, yet, but I can say it's correct or it's right. And I want to say correct, I think, or also correct. Does this correct? Maybe. And uh, let's move on. Oi. 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 So this is a diphthong. We have two vowels together. And this diphthong is pronounced oi. This is a. E. This is o. o. This is o. o. Long o. Oh my god, what did I do? I just... Uh, Oh, that's that's a pity. Let's not continue on this. Okay, guys, so I'm really sorry. Why? I thought I cancelled this. Yeah, I cancelled it now. You know why I cancelled it? It's just because I messed up and there's no point of continuing. I want to have a perfect uh, lesson. So I will start over again. Sure. It's a shame to lose a heart like this. America is wonderful so america is the wunderbar 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 yeah canada is super super so deutschland ist wunderbar deutschland ist wunderbar so germany is wonderful yeah and america is the wunderbar also oi oi yes that's where we stopped and where i made the mistake Oi. Oi, of course, is here. Is Canada Klein? Now we are asking the question, is the Canada Klein? Is Canada small? Is Canada Klein? Is the Canada Klein? So is Canada small? So what do you think? N nine. Canada is the gross. Yeah, it's gross. It's their gross. In America, so in America, I will say in, in America. America. The only thing is that I have also seen uh, the preposition im, im, and it, it was in one of the previous, uh, I mean, that was surely in the, in the immediate previous uh, lesson, but uh, I don't remember the sentence exactly, but I know sometimes... Uh, in German, they don't say in, they say im. So I hope uh, to, how to say, uh, to discover the, the whole thing, the mystery about this. Okay. Berlin ist in Deutschland. Berlin ist in Deutschland. Berlin ist in Deutschland. Right. And East Frankfurt, Frankfurt in Canada. East Frankfurt in Canada. Nein, Frankfurt ist in Deutschland. Yeah. So, how do you say Frankfurt? Frankfurt. Yeah, this is Frankfurt. Is Deutschland 
Äh, ist Deutschland sehr, sehr klein? Nein. I don't think uh, German Germany is very small. East, uh, how do you say right? How do you write Deutschland? Deutsch, Deutschland. There is an there is an S here. Deutschland. It's great. Das ist toll. Canada das ist super. super. Das ist prima. Canada. Canada is written with a K. I'm not uh, capitalizing the K here, but you should normally. And is uh, is the uh, America? America also use a K here, I think. Klein, small. Correct. Das ist net. Und uh, in in uh, let's capitalize it this time. Deutsch Deutschland. Okay, perfect. That was an easy easy one. So that's why I I prefer to uh, I prefer to uh, start uh, over rather than having not a hundred percent. So guys, uh, we have done our first exercise for this unit, unit six, and uh, we should move on because we're already twenty one minutes within this uh, recorded lesson. So we I have just accepted the the challenge proposed by Duo. Let's Tip. see how we can do. How Tip. good. Or how well? Tip. Tip. This is top. Tap. This is top. Top. This is step. Tap. And this is uh, top. 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 So the O is pronounced as a top. Schön. Ö. Top. Ö. Okay. Let's put it here. Hallo. Ich bin uh, Maria. Maria. So it's not, it's not Maria, but it's Maria. Ich, ich bin uh, Maria. Und uh, how do you respond to this? Guten Tag, woher kommst du? We will not say Danke und uh, Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Because if you say Auf Wiedersehen, it means you, you, you're being rude, I guess. So, woher kommst du? Thai. Thai. Uh... This is tea. Thai. Oh, this is the Thai. This is tea. Tea. This is tea. Tea. This is ta. Ta. So Thai is here. Thai. Yeah, okay. Ist Amerika groß oder klein? Ist Amerika groß oder klein? Ist Amerika groß oder klein? Oder klein or big. So big or small. Hallo, Max. Woher kommst du? Du. We know this. Woher kommst du? Woher kommst du? We're good. Is Vienna in uh, Austria? So, is Vienna uh, in... So, how do you write... Uh, how do you write uh, Austria? Ost... Österreich. Österreich with double O, sorry. Österreich. This is good. Ja, Wien ist in Österreich. Ja, Wien ist in Österreich. So this is good. Is Germany big or small? So is the Deutsch land? Basically it's the German land, you know, Deutschland. And uh, Groß oder oder klein. Ja. Hallo, woher kommst du? So, hallo, woher? Not, uh, not good. Woher? And kommst du? Woher kommst du? It's a question, so where are you from? Is Vienna big? Is the uh, Vienna is in gross? What else? Is Österreich gross or klein? Is Österreich gross or klein? So is uh, 
Is Austria big or small? So he is asking about uh, the size of the country. Yeah. And yes, that's going to be ja. Wien. Wien is in. How do you write Österreich? We know this now. So we have uh, Oster and then Reich. What else? We have where? Where do you come from? So, woher. It's not where is something, but we want to say where are you from? So, where do you come from? Woher? Uh, woher kommst du? With a K. Woher comes du? Karl. That's the name of the guy. Ah, I think I made a mistake with woher. I don't know. I didn't look carefully, but hello, hello, it's going to be hello. Uh, where are you from? So, woher, once again, woher, kommst du? Okay, that's perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect, with a K. Okay guys, so we did two exercises and we haven't uh, yet used the new vocabulary uh, that we saw in unit uh, 6 uh, uh, guidebook. Not yet. Let's see if it's coming soon. Rück. Rück. So this is Rek. This is uh, Ruck. Ruck. This is Rack. Rack. And this is Ruck. Ruck. So, ich komme aus komme. Uh, München. Woher kommst du? Kommst. München. München. München, you know. So, München ist eine Stadt. Eine Stadt. 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 So, eine Stadt, it's a, a city. So, or a town. So, eine, it's feminine. Die Stadt ist uh, groß, ja. Yeah? It's groß. big. München. Ome. Ome. Uh, this is Om. Om. This is uh, Öm. Öm. This is Ome. 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 This is Ome. Ome. Correct one. Woher kommst du? Ich komme aus Frankreich. And ich komme aus Amerika. Ich komme aus Amerika. I come from America. And I come from uh, Hamburg. So Hamburg. Ich komme, ich komme aus, aus Hamburg. Hamburg. Eine Stadt in Deutschland. Eine Stadt in Deutschland. So, a city in Germany. Eine Stadt. Die Stadt. Die Stadt. What else? So, Munich. Munich is a city in Germany. Uh, we have to say then München. 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 München is the ist eine Stadt in, Stadt in Deutschland. Deutschland. Du kommst aus Kommst, äh, aus Wien. Wien. Ich komme aus komme. New York. Kommst du aus Frankreich? Kommst du äh, aus? Ja, komm, kommst du aus? It's from. And how do you write Frankreich? Frankreich. München ist eine Stadt in Deutschland. München ist eine Stadt in Deutschland. Ja, yeah, it's a city. Do you come from France? Comes to aus uh, Frankreich? 
that's perfect okay we did it and uh, so what else let's let's see okay I have another challenge for a hard lesson and I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes to it and uh, Heidi 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 it's a common German name and Heidi also you know famous cartoon uh, Austrian Austrian I think cartoon Austria is uh, a different country from Germany of course but I think uh, why we're talking about it so much is the, is because of the fact that they speak also German yeah but we're not talking about Switzerland unfortunately so Heidi maybe it will come later on at a later stage so Heidi V East Est in uh, New York so V East S in New York we have seen this um, this kind of sentence so V it's how East is is as it's it in New York so Heidi how was it in New York uh, die Stadt is there laut und uh, aufregen aufregen exciting laut what do you think is loud? So what do you think loud means? Well, loud means loud. L O U N. Loud. L O U L O U D. Yeah. Okay. So we have seen this. That's the answer. And loud. Berlin is cool. Berlin is cool. Berlin is cool. So cool. Ich komme cool. aus London. Die Stadt ist laut und sehr teuer. Teuer, teuer. It's uh, terrible. What does teuer means? What does teuer mean? Sorry. Well, teuer means expensive. So London is quiet and affordable. No. Cheap and peaceful. No. Noisy and pricey. Exactly. Yeah. Teuer. Toy. Yeah. So how do you write Toya? So it's a T E U toy and then a uh, with an E R. That's how they write it in German. And that means pricey or expensive. Wien ist auch uh, super. Wie ist auch super? Nice. Tap. Now we have uh, what is it? Tap. Tap. I don't see tap. Tap. Tab. Tab is here. Tap. This is tat. Tat. Tad. Tad. Tat. Tak. Tak. Tab. Tap. Nice. Ja, Berlin ist sehr cool. Wie ist es in Paris? So, what is she asking? Berlin is sehr cool. So, Berlin is very cool. But Z. Ja, Berlin ist sehr cool. Wie ist es in Paris? Wie? Wie ist. How is it? Wie ist es in Paris? Ja, Berlin ist sehr cool. Wie ist es in Paris? Yeah, it's a little bit fast, but she's asking. She's saying that Berlin is cool, but how is it in, uh, in France? She is asking what uh, Paris is like. That's right. New York is also cool. So New York is the auch. Auch cool, yeah. And notice that cool is written with a C instead of a K. Uh, so Berlin is also loud. So Berlin. Berlin is auch uh, loud. L Laut. Nice. So, ja, Wien ist, uh, ist sehr teuer. And what else? So, Munich. How do you write Munich? So, it's Mün München. 
Yes, it's correct. Moon hen. I'm not going to capitalize anything. That's because it takes too much time to capitalize here. So how do you write there? I'm struggling with this. There is written like this, I guess. Sehr cool. And Wien ist aufregend. So Wien. It's not Wien. I wrote wine. I wrote wine. Wien ist auf aufregen so aufregen let's check aufregen because this is yeah i got it right okay east this now we have a question is the win uh toy uh, is it expensive is this in new york Wie ist das in New York? Wie uh, ist wie ist es? How is it? Wie ist es in New York? They say it so fast, so quick that wie ist es? Es es in, in New York. New York. New York. Berlin. Oh, we got Berlin here. One moment. We got Berlin. Wow, sorry. We got Berlin East. Wow, I'm making East. Uh, how do you call it? So, sehr auf, aufregen. Aufregen. It's cool. So, was is what? Was is the... No, what is it like? So, it's not what, but it is how is it like. How is it like in you? Or what is it like in you? V is the... S... In... Well, Chicago... Or Chicago, I don't know how they will pronounce it. Yeah, it's written the same way. Nicely done. Okay, I couldn't use uh, was because what is it like? That's not how they ask for it. That's not they ask the question in in um, in German. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we almost did it. We have a last. Uh, exercise for this uh, first lesson in unit six and uh, we didn't use really the vocabulary you know for direction and so on so hopefully we will see that uh, a, a little bit later do you come from uh, france uh do you come from comes do aus frankreich, frankreich. Berlin is very exciting. Berlin is there. Aufregen. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Entschuldigung. Uh, I mean, it stood me a light. Okay, I think there's a an air draft there. And uh, that's why I'm, I'm feeling a little bit cold. Give me a sec. Okay, guys. Uh, so, sorry about that. It stood me a light. So, now I have um, a harbor. Um... How do you say? Ein, ein Kaffee? Yeah. Ein. Ich habe uh, mein Kaffee. Und, uh, no, mein, uh, mein Milch. It's not a coffee yet. So let me add the coffee. Let me add the coffee. And then I can say, ich habe. Ich habe. Haben is uh, the verb to have. So, I have, I have. Okay, now I I can say I have ein Kaffee, if I'm not uh, mistaken on the on the gender. Okay, I still need to find something to stir it. Oh, here's a spoon. Okay, I'm steering. I'm steering, steering, steering. It's good. I didn't put much. Uh, 
much, uh, much, 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 how do you call this? Instant coffee, yeah, in it. Okay. Mm. So, drinken, it's to drink. Ich uh, trinke. Ich trinke, I think. Ich trinke, I drink. Okay, nice. So, that was a nice break. Berlin is sehr aufregend. Auf, aufregend. So exciting, aufregend. There are some other uh, synonyms. So, for example, spannend, spannenden. Okay, and do you come from Germany? Kommst du aus Deutschland? Deutschland. Deutschland. And New York is expensive. New York is the natürlich, of course. So, teuer. We know this. So, teuer. And we have, I also come from Germany. Ich auch. Auch. No, ich komme auch. 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 Aus äh, Deutschland. Deutschland. Ja. Ich komme auch. Ist Österreich klein? Ich komme auch äh, aus Deutschland, sorry. Und ist. Ist Österreich klein? Äh, Österreich. Österreich. What is Österreich? It's Austria. And now Frankreich. Yeah. Ich uh, komme auch aus Deutschland. Ich komme aus. No, ich komme auch. Auch it's two as well. So I also. Yeah. Ich komme auch uh, aus Deutschland. Deutschland. So Deutschland. Once again, Deutsche. Deutsche Land. So the German Land. Wien ist auch super. Wien ist auch super. Ist Wien in Österreich? Ist uh, Wien. Uh, it's not Wien like this, I guess. No, this is Wien. No, is this is Wien, yes. Because the v W, of course, is pronounced as a V. So that's why you write it like this. Is the Wien in Österreich? Yeah. Wien is the in Österreich. Das is the... Uh, richtig. 100% and we got the 50 XP. That's one. So das is wunderbar. Yeah. And we did it, guys. So we did the first uh, uh, lesson within the unit six. What I can propose to do is to start this one as well. Let's do it for one hour. And uh, unfortunately, the first part or the first video that I made today is probably going to be to be like as it is short. So let's start with asking directions because we didn't work with anything new really. Der Park. And that's uh, that's a pity. Der Park. So the park. Park is uh, is uh, masculine. And uh, wo ist der Bahnhof? Wo ist der Bahnhof? Bahnhof is a station. Yeah. Where is the train station? Bahnhof. Bahnhof. Ah. So where do you think is ah? It's here. Ah. This is ha. Ha. This is uh, he. He. This is a. E. This is ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Meet. What? Meet. 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 Yes, meet. Train station. Bahnhof. Bahnhof. Bahnhof, yes. Der Taxistand ist hier. 
the taxi stand is here. Taxi stand is the taxi, taxi stand. Stand, yeah. The taxi stand is here. It's also masculine, so the taxi stand is here. And is the taxi stand here? Here. Der Taxi stand und der Bahnhof. Der Taxi stand Taxi und der, der. Äh, Bahnhof. 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 Der Park ist da drüben. Okay. So what is da? Just da. Da. Over there, yeah. Drüben. Drüben. Der Park. The park is over there. So is da drüben. Der Bahnhof ist da drüben. Der Bahnhof, Der Bahnhof ist da ist drüben. Drüben. And wo ist der Park? Where is the park? Der Park ist uh, da drüben. Ja. Yeah. So drüben means there. Over there. Da. Okay, drüben, drüben. Drüben. Ja, ja, der Markt ist klein. Ja, der Markt ist klein. So, what is Markt? It's the market, yes. Uh, yes, the market is small. Markt. Der Markt und der Taxistand. Der Markt und der Taxistand. Well, I didn't say it right. Der Markt und der Taxi stand. Der Markt und der Taxi stand. Okay, that was hard. Der Markt, 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 ja, yeah, ist super. Das, das Brot hier, yeah, das Brot, Brot ist uh, lecker. Nice. And how do you say bread? Brot. Brot. Markt. Markt. Bitte. Bitte. Hier. Hier. And Wurst. 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 Wurst, it's sausage. It's also a very important word in the German culture, I guess. Wurst. <clears throat> so, nicely done. We also got uh, 100% here. So, guys, let's try to... Let's continue. Let's uh, do the second part. Maybe we'll also finish uh, this uh, this lesson. Okay. Die Bibliothek. Select the correct image. Die Bibliothek. 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 Die Bibliothek. It's a library, of course. Die Bibliothek. Wo ist die Bibliothek? Wo ist die, die Bibliothek? Where is the library? Easy. Ja, die Bibliothek ist hier. Die Bibliothek ist Bi hier. Äh, hier. Notice that Bibliothek is die feminine. Die Kirche. Die Kirche. Kirche. Die Kirche. Kirche. Die Kirche. Kirche. Die Kirche. Kirche. Die Kirche is the church. So Kirche. Kirche. Okay. Ta. 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 This is da. Da. This is sh. 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 Pa. Pa. Ta. Ta. An. So, this is han. Han. This is an. An. This is n. N. This is um, in. N. 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 Okay. An. An. Wo, Wo ist, ist die Kirche? Kirche. Kirche? Kirche. Kirche. Kirche? I don't get it. Kirche. 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 Okay. Wo ist die Kirche? Where is the church? In der Nähe. In der Nähe. Nähe. In der Nähe. What does that mean here? Um, uh, 
In the near is nearby, just nearby. In the near. In the in the near. Near. Is the taxi stand in the near? Yeah. The the drüben. Over there. Alt und schön. Alt it's uh, I think uh, tall, but tall is gross. It cannot be. It cannot be big, it cannot be beautiful, it cannot be uh, bakery. I forgot how to say bakery, by the way. It cannot be un, it cannot be new, it cannot be beer. So I think it can be old. Alt. Alt, it's old, yes. And beautiful. Alt means old. So, alt. Alt. Kirche. Kirch, Kirche. A Eine Apotheke. Apotheke und ein Markt. Eine Apotheke. Apotheke, of course, is a drugstore or a pharmacy. Und ein Markt. So, eine Apotheke. Apo, Apotheke. 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 So... A pharmacy and a market. So, eine Apotheke. Apotheke is feminine. Ja. Die Apotheke und der Bahnhof. Die Apotheke und der Bahnhof. What else? Ist die Apotheke in der Nähe? Ist die Apotheke in der Nähe? Ist die Apotheke, die Apotheke in der, der Nähe? Nähe. Ja. No, it's nine. Nein. Where it's wo? Wo? Uh, groß. Groß. Uh, heiß. Heiß. In alt. Alt. Okay, that was not too bad. But, uh, like I say, I forgot how to say... Uh, bakery, so we have to find out later on. So, welcome back, and uh, we still have eight minutes. I think we can even do two more exercises if uh, they are not going to be too difficult. Das Hotel. Das Hotel. Das Hotel is here, easy. Das Museum. Das Museum. It's also museum, museum. It's written the same way. But das, yeah? Das hotel, das museum. They are both uh, masculine. And ha. Ha, it's here. Ha. Aza. Aza. Aza is here. Aza. Das museum in Berlin. Das museum in Berlin. So the museum in Berlin. Das museum. Ja, das Museum ist in der Nähe. Ja, das ja. Museum, Museum ist, ist in der, der Nähe. Nähe. What is go what's wrong? Ja, das Museum ist der in. Oh, ist in der Nähe. Okay, I I missed Alt the in. Alt und billig. Alt und billig. What do you think is billig? So old and uh, it's gonna be bread. I think it's cheap. So billig. 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 It's um, cheap. Alt und elegant. We know how to say expensive or pricey. It's teuer. And now we also know how to say cheap. It's uh, billig. Alt, old, or elegant. Elegant. Und, oh my god, why am I brain freeze now? Ja, das Hotel ist elegant. Okay, I'm really sorry, but what is happening? I kept uh, making a lot of mistakes this time. Uh, okay, let's, anyway, let's just do it. Ja, das Hotel ist elegant. Ja, das Hotel ist elegant. Is, is das, das Hotel, hotel billig? billig? Uh, is uh, 
the hotel cheap. Und oh, oh, das, das Hotel, Hotel ist sehr, sehr schön, schön und elegant. Und oh, das Hotel ist sehr schön und elegant. Ja. Wo ist das Café? Wo ist das Café? Where is uh, the, sh the, the, the coffee shop? Yeah. And what else? Coffee shop. Café. Café. So Café is a French word and they also use it. So how amazing is that? Ja, das Café ist schön und der, uh, der Café ist billig. Café. Yeah. Das Café ist elegant. Das Café ist, uh, ist elegant. Elegant. And let's correct our ja, mistake. Ja, das Museum ist in der Nähe. Ja, das Museum, das Museum ist, ist in der, der Nähe. Nähe. And what else? Alt und elegant. N, yes. It's un, yeah. Elegant. Well, that was a pity. I think uh, that's because right now I'm getting tired. It's been uh, more than one and a... One, almost like one and a half. Let's say one, and, uh, one hour and 20 minutes. Also, I've been learning, so... Uh, I missed, of course, some XP on that because I poorly, I, I did poorly, so, but anyway, uh, you know, we are all human, so what we can do, we have four minutes, I think we should try to um, do one more exercise, and uh, that way we know that we, we did our best, and um, we practice a lot. Die Bäckerei. Oh, that's the word that I forgot. Die Bäckerei. 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 Die Bäckerei. And uh, die Bäckerei. Bäckerei. Eine Bäckerei. Ein Kaffee. Eine Bäckerei. Ein Kaffee. So, a bakery, a coffee shop. And what else? Der Park ist links. Der Park ist links. What is links? Uh, der Park ist links. I forgot actually. On the left. Yeah. The Park is on the left. Links. Yeah. Ich. 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 Ore. Ore. Ore, Ore. 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 Mm -hmm. Wo ist der Supermarkt? Wo ist der Supermarkt? Uh, where is the supermarket? So, Markt. Uh, wo ist das Salz? Salz. 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 Ja. Yeah. Wo ist das Salz? Der der ist so groß. Der Supermarkt. Supermarkt. Der Supermarkt ist so groß. Okay. Oh, das oh, Kino das ist Kino klein. Das Kino ist klein. Oh, this. Uh, so, the movie theater is small. No big deal here. Good afternoon. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Tag. Anna. Anna. Das Kino, der Supermarkt. Das Kino, das Kino, das Kino, der, der Supermarkt. Supermarkt. Nice. Ist das Kino in der Nähe? Ja. <lacht> uh, <lacht> what is? Ja. Yeah. It's on the left. Links. Ja, links. Ja. Yeah. Das Hotel ist rechts. Ja, das Hotel ist recht. rechts. 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 Yes, the hotel is on the... The hotel is on the right. What else? Ist das Museum rechts oder links? Ist das the Museum? So, Museum rechts oder links? Museum. Is das Museum rechts oder links? So, 
Is das museum rechts oder links? Is it on the right or on the left? Okay, nice. Uh, how do you say a bakery? Uh, Bäckerei. Eine, eine Bäckerei. Bäckerei. Und eine Ein. Café. Café. So, eine Bäckerei und eine Apotheke, but eine, ein, 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 ein Markt. So, the movie theater, das Kino, das Kino. und uh, der Supermarkt. Supermarkt. Perfekt. Perfekt. Okay, like you can see, maybe you don't see, but I see that uh, we have spent... Uh, one hour exactly uh, studying uh, German so we did very well so congrats guys for staying with me if you watch the whole video and uh, I will now wish you to have a nice day so today it's Saturday and uh, so Phil and Dirk thank you for uh, for your support thank you for watching this video I hope it was exciting, aufregend. I thought uh, I thought I, I it's a good idea to include some of the vocabulary we've learned, and uh, so bis bald. So I see you soon, bis bald und tschüss, auf Wiedersehen.